Now we've got the uh, faucet in place. We're back under the sink. We're going to put our bracket in and screw our bracket down, which will hold the faucet to the deck of the uh, sink. thing with plumbing is a lot of the plumbing fixtures, the faucets, etc., through the years, really a lot of them haven't, the basic ones, the basic standard ones that you put in, haven't really changed that much. So you will run into this quite often if you're dealing with a lot of the uh, basic faucets and sinks. And these also will come with directions, you know, along with this video, your directions. You really shouldn't have any problem. And I'm using one of the smallest set of um, adjustable wrench that I have in my toolbox to uh, get into this little tight area. And to be quite honest, some of these faucets actually will come with a small tool that will allow you to reach up in there to uh, turn that nut. Okay, now we've got our faucet in place, and we are ready to get our supply lines hooked up. This particular faucet came with 3 8 copper tubing, which had no end to it. No end, meaning there is no connection whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to make up, uh, make up a... Uh, connection fitting to go from the 3 8 to 3 8 similar to how it was before. Sometimes you can, you will, this can be soldered to another piece of 3 8 but uh, this is the most easiest and quickest and efficient way to uh, actually to adapt to that uh, 3 8 supply line. The one on the uh, the nut on top will be a three eighths, and the one on the bottom will be the half inch. And we're going to use this old supply line over. It's it's copper. It's pretty good shape. So we're gonna, all we're going to do is clean it out and use it over. <laughs> 